So I want to thank you all for gracing this important event. The water sector as a whole is increasingly becoming of high value interest to our government. And I would like to begin tonight by contextualizing this increased interest. When we took over the administration of this country, we decided to focus our energies and synergies on the economic reform agenda. Aside from the obvious benefits, this was the most developed sector and we had a clear vision as to the direction we wanted to steer the country. The economic reform embraced fiscal austerity that impacted on all other sectors, in particular the security sector. The security and justice sector reform was also born out of this need. Similarly, good governance, sharing revenue responsibilities, transfers and spending powers to carry out public functions with our federal member states also led to the linkage between economic reform agenda and the inclusive politics agenda. Our reform path has ultimately led us to service delivery in order for us to sustain the benefits of our reforms to grow our economy, to improve key sectors, and most importantly, to enhance government's government legitimacy, it is inevitable that we also give due attention to the reform of the social service sector. While this sector is wide and will require critical attention, whether it is in regard to education or health, I have zeroed on water as it unlocks the most potential in the immediate term. In order to fully appreciate how significant water is in Somalia's reform and resilience efforts, I present to you a brief background. First, out of Somalia's estimated population of 15 million roughly, only 24% of the population is able to access improved water sources one of the lowest in the world. Interestingly, the estimated available water in the country is 14.7 trillion liters, while our natural withdrawal rate estimated at 3.3 trillion liters. I'm sure the reasons are obvious to many here tonight least of which is inadequate infrastructure and poor quality of water supply systems. But what is very clear is that water is not entirely scarce, but infrastructure and institutions and systems are lacking. A joint study between the Federal Government of Somalia and the African Development Bank in 2014 identified the gaps in the water and sanitation sector as limited infrastructure and weak institutional capacity. The effects of water scarcity are felt in all as aspects of the society. It is a major impediment to our economic growth and recovery initiatives as it denies us the opportunity to maximize output and agriculture business and livestock. In the security domain, scarce resource repeatedly contributed to tensions and even violent confrontations among pastoralist communities, leading to an already fragile context, even far more fragile. The severe and very difficult droughts that we face also make the victims susceptible to recruitment into violent and terrorist groups. Yet, millions of donor funds are annually spent on water resource interventions. Ladies and gentlemen and colleagues, excellencies, I would therefore like to thank today or tonight those here who have made substantial contributions to this sector and who are still trying to make a tangible impact. Today, 
We're here to debate the way forward with a vision that in the next five years we should all try and plan to have a nation that is water sufficient and able to manage our water resources in five years. A more coordinated and joined up approach to supporting this sector is urgently needed. My government has begun reaching out to the partners to establish a comprehensive national water resource strategy plan that will help in the promotion, planning, monitoring of the water sector. This strategic plan is a much needed initiative and will strengthen coordination and provide a structure and priorities for a reformed water sector focused on needs and deliverables. The government will be relevant when it provides basic services such as access to clean and affordable water to its citizens. This will not only provide water for consumption but also contribute to both economic reform and mitigate violent conflicts and impact the effects of the droughts we've been seeing over the past years. An investment in water is an investment in economic empowerment, safety for women and children, peace and stability in human rights, and confidence building towards state institutions. We are therefore asking tonight our partners and stakeholders to strive towards supporting our government in fulfilling this critical mandate. I am therefore here with you to kickstart this debate tonight. And I hope this debate in five years' time will give us a different Somalia on all aspects because of this strategy we will start debating tonight. Thank you.